Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is part 13 of me story progressing the whole The Sims 4 game. I still don't know the best way to title this series to be honest. It's sort of like I'm playing it off screen but it's in a way it's a let's play and then I just come back and tell you about what has happened and um, where each family is going. So it's kind of a story progression update. I wouldn't even call it a let's play. Anyhow, I decided that what I'm doing now until end of this week is gonna be season one and uh, after this I will story progress even more everything. So it will be season two eventually on this channel. And I have three updates. So first of all, um, in the last week I, have to ch I had to change three PlayStation controllers. So I had purple one in the beginning of this series and like some maybe last five parts I had the white one and now I have the black one. None of them are working, they, like the black one seems to work, be working now and I also have an extra white one, but it's PlayStation controller number four this year, which is crazy. And other news is I feel a bit under the weather today, so don't mind me, I might show some symptoms, but not for the famous sickness, see, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And the good news is I also finally shaved, so I got a bit of a neck for my video. <laughs> it's a stupidity. Anyway, before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this would be great help. And without further ado, let's jump right into the game. Alright, so we are moving towards the end. I'm not gonna lie, I have just four families left, so probably we will have, we'll be having a video today and tomorrow, and on Friday I will do something different which will be kind of an update of what is happening with this series. So we are in Parched Prospect today. Um, we already checked a bit of families here. So we had uh, the Egglestone, which is I believe his name was Luke and Cassandra. We also saw Galindo family and today we are diving into the Rumi's household. As you can see it's just two sims now. Originally it's three sims and it's supposed to be based, I believe, on New Girl, which was very popular when this game came out. And I tried to watch it many times and I watched maybe a couple of seasons, but it wasn't my thing. And this Zoe battle is supposed to be like uh, Zoe de Chanel. The guys I don't remember for the best of me. Anyhow, yeah, I already spoiled it, but there is a baby in the house. Yeah, let's just go into the house. Well, first of all, Rumi's got very, very wealthy. So this is their house. I got it from the gallery and I kind of love it and don't. No, I love the creation as the house. I think it's nicely done. I had to clean it up a little bit because there were some spaces that just wouldn't work for me. But overall, I'm super pleased how they made everything. Whoever made it, they of course used a lot of debug items and like unlocked items and so on, but I really love it. So I kept this family a little bit younger than some other families that I play. So Zoe is 21 uh, days until she's gonna a job and Mitchell maybe is also 21. It's 20 days until he, he ages up. So let me just quickly go over the family. So I gave them a makeover as you can, as you can see, because I didn't really like how they looked before and they always annoyed me so let's go with Mitchell. Mitchell is lazy bro at going and gregarious because originally he had a social aspiration which I changed to the culinary which he's doing well at. He is now at level 3 of the aspiration and I'm pretty sure he'll finish it uh, by the time he's old and he has 4000 uh, satisfaction points which means that I should be buying him something probably save uh, seventh at this point. He is level 5 culinary, so with his next promotion we'll be able to choose for him to go into the uh, head uh, caterer branch, maybe it's called? So he has level 10 cooking, level 8 gourmet cooking, level 5 mixology, level 4 baking. And this is kind of his friends, so Zoe, so they are soulmates and spouse and they are super cute together actually, I really enjoy them together and they have a son which uh, got born recently, his name is Sebastian Pato. I actually randomized his name and uh, I know a couple of Sebastians so I don't really like that his name is of someone I know or actually multiple people that I know. So are they still friends with the other guy that lived here? Oh that's so interesting, they completely lost touch with the third guy from this household, like he is not in the least. And I was wondering, when I was playing them, 
I was like, where is the other guy? Why he's not, he's not coming anymore? Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Wow, incredible. They like completely lost touch with each other. Anyhow, let's go into Zoe. So Zoe has a friend of the world aspiration. I'm working on it, but I'm not very good with this particular aspiration. So I don't know the best way to finish it. She is a painter, uh, level five. I mean, she does well, she does like one painting a day nothing more so she is painting level seven charisma level five and she has like fishing handiness and a bit of fitness as well and she is clumsy cheerful goofball and gregarious as well because she also has a social uh, aspiration and she has a fear of dead end job so if you look at the family tree there's nothing really that happened with any of them they kind of doing this family unit together they also incredibly wealthy in my game somehow I think I got scared, so somebody from the world donated them a lot of cash to be able to pay bills for this house. Yeah, I just moved like a bunch of NPCs into one lot and then gave the money that I was able to gather to this household. Uh, because I really loved the house originally when I started playing in it. Uh, the only thing I don't like in this house actually is... It's not, even, it's not related to the house, it's related to the Sims itself. Like, for example, I'll just show you. They go into this toilet and of course automatically they want to wash their hands like any person would. So they wouldn't go to this sink to wash the, to uh, the hands, sorry. <laughs> they would go to this sink if I'm lucky. But if I'm not lucky, they will go to like this bathroom, for example. Um, there's another one. Or this one they usually go to. And sometimes they even go here. It's every single day, every single moment. It's such long ways to go up and down this house. That's something I don't like about playing with different uh, floor levels in the game. Aha! Uh -huh. So I think we'll play a bit and uh, wait for Sebastian to age up and then when he's a toddler we can move on. Oh my lord, this squirrel is a masterpiece. <laughs> I, I will explain why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I was like, okay, I'm gonna sell every single painting but I will keep masterpieces. And the first masterpiece, maybe second masterpiece she does is this squirrel. What is she doing? Look at Zoe. What is she? She's going somewhere. And I can't even reach her. Oh, the game just glitched so badly. Hold on, let me find Zoe. There she is. Look at her. Where is she going? It's off the map. Oh my lord, she went through that. Oh my goodness, I am speechless. She's late for work. She walks in a very weird way. Oh wait, she does, she thinks she does something. No, I don't think she knows what she's doing, to be honest. She goes to grab a drink. And she went all the way there. <gasps> oh my lord, look at her. Did she eat something weird? What's behind there? I... I don't know what to say. Oh my god, there's an airport here. Zoe is off to work. Something is wrong with my game, guys. Have I lost her? Oh no. <laughs> here she is! Completely off the map. I am obsessed with her. Like, one more second and we're gonna be off. Like, how is she gonna make it down? Less. Oh man, it's like Stranger Wheel all over again. I have never ever seen something like this in my life. So she is coming to an end of the game map. And you know what? I'll wait for it <laughs> to happen. Like now my let's play took all the different turn. And to think that I thought that she was happy in her life to arrive to this point. Oh my lord, she is just gonna go. She's just gonna walk off of the map. She's gonna walk off the map. Zoe? <gasps> oh my god, I 
clicked first person's view so she's not like off the map quite yet but she is about to be it's the scariest thing I have ever seen it's like she beca became a zombie of some sorts Zoe oh here she is like what's gonna happen after this moment of no return oh my god <laughs> oh gosh I can't I can't use this I guess nothing good will come out of this so let me fix her speechless I even think I know what could have caused it because I recently got a sim from the gallery beautiful sim beautifully done I have saved it in my gallery until I have enough packs but when I got the sim it had um, completely moved around the menu of the game and uh, the sim has disappeared from the family so I'm not able to catch it back so I have this random unleashed sim now in my sims and when I tell you who it is, you'll not believe me, so I might keep you guessing, but it's a famous singer. So she's at work now. When I click to see where she is, nothing is happening, so that's great. Zoe, embarrassed. I'm embarrassed as well. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed by you. What have you done, sweetie? Why would you do that? So I actually cannot wait any longer because, as I told you, I want to keep it uh, the same with the... Richard's family like age-wise, so I don't want them to be older or younger even a day And I specifically left one day in order to go quickly to the Richards Let's see up Sebastian Even though his father is not home, I don't care I need to see how this baby looks like The house is gorgeous Oh, our beautiful squirrel is here <gasps> Oh, Sebastian aged up so as always, um, kind of similarly to legacy challenges, I do just one random button and that's the trait the child has, so... Oh gosh, clingy. This shy toddler avoid seems outside the household and gets sad if left behind. They get extra skill when taught and they recover faster from bad moods when comforted. Well, not bad, you know, I don't remember last time I had a toddler with this trait. Oh, I don't know who he looks like. Oh my god. That's uncomfortably close. Why is he shaking? Is it my controller? No, it's the child. It's not the child, it's her. It's her head. Okay, it's glitched. I'm just gonna go away from here. I don't know what to do. Thank you guys for this glitchy let's play. Nothing else I have to add for you. Just thanks. Now that I'm looking at their family picture, the baby has no body. Like there's no substan substance of body to this child. So maybe the baby was gl glitchy. Or maybe it's this lost sim that I have in the game. So moving on to the next family. Just so you know, I had to restart the game, but the game is still quite glitchy. I'm not happy about it. I'm pretty sure it's the lost sim, the famous celebrity sim that I downloaded from the gallery and has disappeared into the void in my game. She was physically on the streets, but I don't have her in the family gallery in this thing here. In, in the managed household. So I don't know, when I see her probably I'll try to get rid of her. So uh, we're moving on to the next family which is Richard's family. So at some point Gavin, who was originally in the roommate's uh, household, he met Mazu and she was just a game made sim that I moved in with him. And I don't know, they kind of matched and I made them even more matchy with their outfits, I think at least so. They have this kind of tropical edgy vibe. Their house does not have this vibe yet, but they are. And when I moved them together, they were just friends. And then when they shared the first kiss, it gave me like notification that Gavin found out that Mazu was an alien. And I was like, oh god, it happened. So that's how Gavin looks in my game. I modified him a little bit, but other than, like, I didn't touch his facial structure, so I just did a makeover, if you would say. So, of course, I realized before that she was an alien when I start, when I saw them both playing and her plum bob was different, but that's when Gavin first realized, and I didn't know that he didn't know. <laughs> like, I didn't know how it works, um, I kind of forgot, and it was quite cute. I think he wasn't angry about it, so I kind of moved in with their story. So about Gavin, he has aspiration to be best-selling author. 
Yes. And he's very close to finishing it because uh, he just needs to get level 10 at this point and earn enough uh, money with the books. Yibs. So he's level 5 writer, which is quite low, but I think he'll Ooh. get better soon. He gets like 3000 in royalties only. So he's level 9 writing and he likes mixology as well. He does a lot of cocktails as you can uh, see by the bar. He is neat, bro, creative and he has creative visionary. A reward store as, um, trade and he's a muser because he chose creativity aspiration. He also has a fear of dead end job right now, which I hope I'll fight very soon. And this is his family tree. So Gavin is married to Mazu. Now Richard, she has kind of, she had kind of different sur surname before. And uh, this is their daughter Rita. So moving on to, Ma to Mazu. So she didn't look originally like that, but I did modify her in Cas both disguise and also her alien form and this is how she looks as an alien ah, <laughs> exactly so it's basically the same seam that looks like an alien which i really like about um, the possibility to make it in two different ways and i like her face as well because i don't like pretty aliens i want them even like she's pretty for example for an alien in my opinion because I don't want them to look just normal, like, I want them to look interesting. My favorite part of her is, like, like how her nose, like, comes from here down. That was, like, her main feature for me as an alien, and I really, really enjoyed it. And I actually hope her daughter gets it too, but I don't think it's something that's gonna happen. I put her in disguise just for the vi for this video, for the beginning of this video, kind of to keep it a secret how she looks like, because I think she looks great. But actually after he found out, I kept her out of disguise the whole time. Mazu's aspiration is renaissance sim, so she tries to learn many things and like broad, broadly. I think she's almost done with this. Uh, maybe she's like on stage three, I think so. Uh, because she has to get uh, five skills on level five and she has one more skill to get there she works now as a secret agent uh, level three and she has level five gardening level five cooking level five baking and level five logic i'm not able to finish this logic skill i think eventually i will but maybe i will work on gourmet cooking instead because it's easier and it's at home she also has a fun garden here with like some fruits vegetables and alien plants that I managed to collect for her and she, I mean she's doing quite well some of them are perfect some of them are nice yeah it's just a mix of stuff originally I just wanted her to have just alien plants because she's missing her home but at some point uh, in order to move forward with the skill I had to get other plants as well and like at some point I had this whole thing in the plants also she looks in in the telescope sometimes to stargaze <laughs> And just think about home, you know? And this brings us to Rita Richards. I kind of like how this name sounds together, Rita Richards. When it came out in random, I was just like, sure, I'm taking it. Rita has everything. She just needs to finish her imagination skill. And I actually just played them for like one extra day because I forgot that she didn't have her skills maxed. So I was trying so hard to, to do it, but I still haven't managed. And because she's about to age up, and yeah, her trait was wild, and I'm not sure I enjoyed it. Maybe while she sleeps I can talk about Rita a little bit, because of course she's an heir of this household, and obviously she's green, <laughs> like your mother. Which is something I'm super excited about. So, with this household came kind of a slight disappointment in the pack, uh, they get to work pack and the aliens, because her mother is a full-on alien, she is not a hybrid. And usually, well, originally, if you read online about Get to Work and about aliens, if you have a full alien mother and a full uh, normal sim, their child would be a full alien. And for some reason, I believe that she was born as a hybrid. The sign I got from it is her creep was normal creep, for example. And when I go in Cass as her, I can actually put any color on her of skin tone. So if I click like like human skin tone, she becomes this skin tone and then I cannot do green anymore because she doesn't have the selection of alien ones. And I believe her eyes are normal as well, so that's kind of threw me off a bit. Because I did full on expect that she would be a, a full alien, which would be super cool. But hybrid is cool as well, you know. Uh, another thing, it was written online that male pregnancies were introduced and get to work. Of course, it's possible now in the base game as well. 
but originally it was in um, get to work and also if the it was normal male sim and alien female sim it meant that the male sim would get pregnant from the alien female sim but it didn't happen it was actually mazu who was pregnant and um, then she went to hospital to give birth so nothing really happened as it was written and i was very upset about it because i wanted to see gavin pregnant so maybe the alien things were kind of updated recently and it's different now than what it was supposed to be before or perhaps um, what i read online was not exactly right and there are other options to what might happen with aliens as well okay so, Rita is up. Oh, they're so cute. I love them together. It's such a fun family to play, by the way. I like that Mazu is like experiencing the earth and she like looks at different skills and different careers, trying to understand humans better. And then we have Rita, who is like a helpless toddler, as they say, but is like doing everything at most powers. So, I want to get all of your skills up, and it's her birthday now, so it has to happen quickly. So let me just work on that, and I hope she doesn't jump before that. Come on, come on, yes! Okay, perfection. I mean, the house is small, but it's not bad. I enjoy that they're like, they're like a new family living in this world. Oh, that was weird. Oh, is she sick? Rita aged up. Select an aspiration trait to replace it. So so this trait we're gonna choose is gonna stay with her for the rest of her life. So eee, just once please be good. Oh creative. That's not bad. I guess we can do creativity then. And maybe she will get into something. I don't know. There's many things. There's a violin, guitar, piano, I mean even floral arrangement thing, like there are, other there are many things we can do with this. Can she do anything alien-like? I'm very curious about that. Well, not yet, at least. So, Rita has normal eyes and Rita has normal voice. But her, no her like, nose starts very similarly to her mom. So, I wonder if she will be like a normal sim that looks like that. Let me just quickly modify her and Cass. It's my first alien or at least green <laughs> child, so I want to do the best out of it. I'm not like incredible with kids outfits, but I think this will do. I found even better jeans, so I'm keeping those. Well, okay, I think that's a good moment to stop. I'm so excited to have a hybrid alien <laughs> life form in the game, because you cannot create it, so it can only get born, and I think when she grows up, she will only have friendly alien aspirations, which is super exciting. So I can't wait to play with her and, like, story progress her even further. And this will be it for now, and just kind of reminder that I will have two additional videos this week tomorrow and after tomorrow, which will be summing up this Let's Play, so make sure to tune in. And thank you guys so much for watching, please don't forget to click like, subscribe and leave a comment. It will help a lot for, to me and to my channel and for me to be inspired to do more videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye!